Welcome back everyone to Let's Play, excuse me, Pike and Shot Campaigns, episode 19 I guess, and possibly the last episode. So we just need to break 40% uh, with plus 25 and we will finish, we will finish this fight. Um, I'm actually less concerned about the 40 than the 25, which I guess that isn't too surprising. Just kind of taking a look at things off camera, I think we're going to get this unit to break. We have two probably two better units against um, a weaker unit. It's gonna cause that one to break. We have this uh, fragmented unit up here, which I also want to get to. The problem is right now, if I move this unit, he'll get stuck in the zone of control, I think. And if I move him too close to this guy, like I was even thinking of backing him up. I think that would not be a terrible decision just because um, I'm not sure if it would cause a cohesion test, which is the reason I'm not sure I should do it. But if it doesn't cause a cohesion test, this veteran horse is probably going to break this turn or next, and then the cavalry will, will pursue. So just kind of thinking, excuse me, two steps ahead. Um, if I move back here, it'll put me in striking distance. I don't know how far back they're going to retreat. So maybe just two or three or whatever. And just moving back a little bit will get us out of the effective range of the morale drop, so we won't be next to them. So I was thinking, like, if we move here, it'll put us in striking distance next turn, but this unit is probably going to break. Um, then we'll be fighting uphill as well, which we can avoid. We don't need to do that. So I think maybe just moving back one, and then we'll catch the unit as it breaks to cause the most amount of damage. And I don't care. We will lose this unit. I can't. I don't think I can save it, basically, is what I'm, what I'm trying to say. And I don't think we have enough time. They'll route off the field pretty quickly because the edge of the map is pretty close by. So I'm going to do this. If this causes a disruption, then I have erred horribly. However, as I see it, there's nobody to, to cause a cohesion test. Nobody is available to cause damage to this guy. So it should be okay. And it was. Very good. So that'll put us in position. I mean, even at, I think they can move diagonal. So even if the routed unit only moves like two, one even... We should be able to get to him there next turn. So now this unit, have we already fired? We have already shot. We've already shot, okay. Um, now we have a bit of a puzzle to solve for ourselves in front. I think I want to route this unit, which we can do, but where should my other units fire? And I think the answer will be here, 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 and this unit will attack this unit uh, the musketeers in front of our disrupted unit. I could fire at them, but they will fire back. It could fragment me. And I'd actually much rather just use my guns, which are still pretty effective even when you're um, disrupted. They're pretty effective, you know, but I don't want to receive returning fire, especially veterans. I'd love for these veterans to rally. So what I think I'll do is just charge them because we are very, very likely going to win this. 17 to 8 is the charge and 27 to 5 is the ensuing battle and that looks good we aren't needed up here because we already have two fragmented forces going against our pike and shot so they've held really well so is it no, they're, they're not even veteran they're just really doing well so we'll do this charge here and we didn't win the initial but at least it was more or less indecisive so i think we'll still probably win that now, if we wanted, we could actually attack and we would win this, but I think it'd be better for us to just shoot these guys over here. Now, I want to fire at this unit here because the musketeers, I just find them more difficult to deal with, but let's first shoot them. Um, and because I want to shoot them without return, getting return fire, I will charge this unit first. Good, so that already was a success. Now let's shoot this unit. Probably this will lead to a counterattack by this, by the pike and shot, their pike and shot. Okay, only, it didn't. Okay, and one more. 26, wow, that was very effective. They're almost down to their half point. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, that's right, I didn't know what to do with this unit. I think we're just gonna shoot the musketeers way over here. I don't really find much point in going after their uh, light guns. Sure, we could probably route them if we moved forward eventually, but you know, some cavalry will pick these guys off on a spare turn. And right now what I think is more important is actually to engage these musketeers who are coming in at range. Okay. 
Same kind of weird situation going over here. So I think we will lose this reserve pike and shot eventually. They're, they still have about 100 more men before they break entirely. That'll probably happen pretty soon, unfortunately. But we can still grind away at this Russian cavalry. And... If I move here, I don't think I can turn. That's the downside. I would like to move here and turn face them and then fire at them. Because I can't turn away from this target which is facing me. Because they're about to flank my uh, horse. We will have one more melee round before that happens, but it's both displaced against displaced, so I don't hold out high hopes that we'll be able to route them just on the next fight. Anyway, I guess we'll do this. That was very effective, fragmented. And we'll do the same thing here. Oh, we can shoot these guys. I think... I think I want to do that instead. We've already disrupted this group, and they're about to charge, so I'd rather... Okay, we're going to take a lot of fire for that, which I knew. Okay, this guy is going to charge, I'm sure. Really wish we could charge them, but we can't. Okay, 12 to 8. All right, now we do our charging. And they broke instantly. We should charge this guy. We do. About even, and I think the results for that will come out in our favor. Okay, good. We still can move with this unit. They've already shot. I guess we move here, turn, and prepare ourselves. Oh, well we can't, this doesn't count as a flank charge if you're wondering because it won't until next turn. But we can do this. I'm fine with that. We will do the flank charge. They will probably move uh, to face us on the next turn, so that's fine. We want to do that because we don't want them to engage this in a three-way fight. That would be bad. <laughs> if they do that, if they you know charge anyway, then we will flank attack. Okay, we have gotten control of this unit back. They need to go after this fragmented unit, quite obviously. So we will... This one's routing. Okay, good. I guess we'll move this way and turn and face them. Okay, that seems okay to me. We have horses coming at us from this side. I'm expecting that this group will break before this horse is able to get over to us. Although I didn't think about that as well as I could have. We could have gone left and maybe routed the guns. I guess at this point I'll probably circle around. Oh, we have these guys as well. They're still pursuing. Who's left? Well, can't say I want to do this, but we'll go ahead and shoot them anyway. Yeah, this is just a kill, kill or be killed situation there. And that's it, so end turn. One, one, five, zero. All right, here's the big one. Okay, they, they broke, this was very good. We don't chase after them because we still have another enemy in contact, but these guys will also break, yes. Okay, that is a bit problematic. All right, there's actually a, a hope here then that they will get to 40% on this turn. Yeah, they're massively disadvantaged, which is good. We should be winning that by lock because they're disrupted. Oh, they rallied, of course, right? <laughs> I absolutely need that unit to break, but <laughs> maybe it won't happen now. Okay. Okay, this broke, but that's as expected. And they moved themselves right into our bus. Yep. They fell back. I wish we had a chance to turn. Okay, even fight. I'm actually surprised by that. Alright, so we're going to get charged in the rear, unfortunately. This can be an instant drop of cohesion here. Wow, 45. Damn, they just do so much. Auto break. Don't shoot at the unit that's routing.
Damn fools. Yeah, not good, obviously. <laughs> Not surprising, but not good. That's, see, to, to me, that's just too much. 16 versus 2, this is for regular non skirmishing cavalry. This is normal cavalry. I don't feel like. I, I, we've been talking about this the whole series, and I, I haven't. I don't want to be seen as just complaining about it, but it's just. It's something that. Uh, do, just. Kind of ruins my immersion with the game when a line of Russian cavalry with their bows, not skirmishing units, still do that much damage. 12 to 2 is just ridiculous. Hmm. Okay. So maybe that's my one. I get one of those per episode. <laughs> once I complain about it once, then I, I don't complain further. I don't know if we'll be able to attack them or not. Okay, 79. Good, they broke. Ah, man. We're only slightly advantaged there. Okay, so that's interesting. Alright, our turn. This is an instant win. Good. So that worked out well. We did something right for once. We'll continue this little shooting contest. We will soon break, but we've taken them down by a sizable amount as well. Um, I guess we want to move forward here to present maybe even attack here to cause them to break faster. But let's just go after these light guns. So... I think we'll do this. Oh, we can't turn. Well, I guess we'll just shoot them here. Hmm. I thought you could make a... St oh, it's because priority target. Damn it. That's okay. I don't mind attacking that guy directly. And they are presenting a bad front for us. So we'll probably what we're going to do here is... We have to move in because we want to... Let's see. How do we do, how do, we do this? I need to clear this unit, which I can do like this. And then get to this unit next. Okay, if I do this, I can move this guy here, and I can move this guy here. Where can you attack right now? You can attack this guy, but hmm, no, not really. <clears throat> I think we move this unit up just to start protecting flanks, because this guy's going to try to attack that guy in the flank, so we want to move up just to posture at them. Okay. These are just musketeers as well, so we probably... Oh man, just being disrupted is so painful. We can't even win a fight against musketeers disrupted, which is a little upsetting. Um, Can you even attack anybody? I don't know. I mean, the only unit you can attack is this one, and that's useless to me. Yeah, I don't think you can. Alright, well, it just attack this. It's the only unit you can do anything to anyway. We'll do this. They route. Charge. Perfect. That was good. That's what I intended there. They broke. That's even better. Uh, see, that wasn't good, but I have a plan. I have a plan, by golly. So we'll move here, and now we can shoot this unit. So this worked out because I knew I had the reserve unit there. For it. Okay, good. Um, do we just keep pushing these Dragoons off? I guess. There's nothing really else we can do. <laughs> and... Did we? Did they lose line of sight? Yeah. Line of sight has been lost. That's good. Not completely, because obviously other units are going to scout for them, but they will have to move in order to shoot at me. Then we can finally end them on the next turn. So we will lose this even though they are just pure musketeers. That's how bad our reserve pike and shot is. <laughs> um, actually, if we had waited for that whole chain of events, this gun would have had an open shot on this reserve pike and shot, which would have been nice, but we could not have known that, so I'm still okay with that. This. Yeah, I don't fully understand why this Russian cavalry 
this is okay. I already said it. Never mind. Let's continue on with the. I guess we just gotta grind this guy out. Okay, worked. And that caused a lot of good stuff for us. I guess this is the important one. Now that they've dropped, although I would like to continue to push on the ones that are dropping, um, getting them down to disrupted probably is more effective, or do we wanna turn and start engaging the ones that are just breaking them off one by one? That could make sense. Let's have this, oh no, he can't turn because he's gonna have this Russian cavalry. Okay, yeah, we'll turn. <laughs> five to 15, we did five, of course. Ouch, it's a lot of damage. All right, so I think we have to shoot at these musketeers. We can actually get these all the way over here. They're nowhere near, they're like 134 out of 167. They're nowhere near breaking though. I think the main idea is we gotta shoot these guys, give them something to think about. Yeah, let's do that. I think it's pretty obvious that we will lose this, but I think we have to shoot them and just take the blow. They, we can just route them by attacking them from the side next turn. So is there anywhere else we could go and do? Ah, it's gotta be this, ouch. Okay, wow, we actually won that exchange? Okay, not sure how that works. Well, it only makes sense to attack this unit first. There are musketeers though. And we're fragmented, so we can't actually engage even guns. Oh, wait, are they facing us? They are. But this unit pulled back instead of, so we, we this will be a win for us. Well, that's good, we will do that. And that's what we expected. That'll probably be broken on the next turn. So let's just do this. Seven, good. And 11 to 35. This is definitely not the designed role of reserve pike and shot to be scoring off with guns against musketeers, but we'll lose the charge anyway. So there's no hope. <laughs> there's nothing better we can do. Yeah, I don't know why that works, but there's some weird magic going on. Maybe because they're so depleted, 298, but we only have two-thirds musketeers. So we're about even in numbers. I'm not gonna try to question it. This guy looks like he is gonna be able to get away to hopefully regroup one time. <laughs> Turn in, face back the other way eventually. Okay. And that's it, that's everyone. So will we get to 40% 20, plus 25? Um, maybe. One, yes, one, yes. It depends on how many of our units route during their turn. Okay, well, that said, cross our fingers and end turn. I think that was our unit that rallied, I hope to God. But maybe not, actually. That was definitely not our unit. Okay, this one broke. Ah, uh, they won, but they didn't break them. Okay, disrupted fell fall back. Okay, good. That one broke. That's good. Okay, that's good as well. I don't know if the unit there... Okay, disperse type. Is the one that rallied theirs? I can't tell. I don't know who's shooting who. I need the flags. <laughs> okay, they didn't. But we're disrupted now. That did not work. As long as we don't break, we should be... Uh... Oof, 
I did not see that. Oh no! Yikes! That's a big one. I think we still win the melee round. We'll probably get this one to route. <laughs> They're coming after my guy. <laughs> well, we had enough time to escape a little bit. <laughs> Darn it. And now we have to engage them in the city, which is not good. I think we'll still win it, though. All right, so it's only 20% now, damn it. We were so close, so close. Just could not pull it off. Hmm. Okay, we should be, oh, we're disadvantaged, that's strange. I think we should be advantaged, actually. Okay, it's our turn. <sighs> well, I guess we just focus fire here. Good. Turn to face this unit forward. This one turns to face this guy. Obviously, we know what we're gonna have to do here. Just wear them down slowly. Because otherwise we'll just be hitting the flank. Uh, so you are already engaged. It was their unit which rallied here. There must be this fragmented one. Now I think I'm going to attack. Wait, I can't? They should disperse and I want to... Damn it, I don't have control of it. I could do this. That won't get us the flank though. Damn it. Well, I think I move here. This unit just has to turn. Oh my god, they're in a terrible fix. <sighs> Why can't we charge these guys? Yeah, they are just under control. There's a 2% chance we'd lose this in an extended fight, even though they're a broken unit. Well, 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 well. What do we do? Just route that guy to break them on contact. We do, we only win this kind of. <laughs> Interesting. We win this one much more thoroughly. 26 to 4, 16 and 11 on the charge, but whatever to 4 on the after the charge. Then these units can both split off to the left. Okay, fine. Even exchange of fire there. Um, we will win this, and they are going to go ahead and let us fight it. Okay. Anybody we have control of? Damn, that's this is like the worst situation. I could just try to get one unit before I go. No, I don't think my gunfire is gonna route these guys. I'm so screwed. <laughs> There's just nothing we can do to get out of the way fast enough. Uh, we just have to try to take advantage of it, but the problem is I can't. This does not is not considered a flank attack. Okay, well, we, they, we're letting them know we're coming for them. This is a fragmented unit. It can't charge. Okay, so I have to turn this way then. And since we have to turn this way, I might as well shoot this target. We're going to take a pounding. Woo! 
Oof. Wow, we actually held somehow without being coming disrupted. That's a miracle. Well, at least this unit can turn if they want, but... I think we put our unit in the place, the position we wanted. Okay, so let's do this attack here. Good start. We want to turn? I think we want to just, not just turn, but... We want to move there. Actually, wait, can we attack this unit? Darn it, it can't move two diagonals. Okay. Well, let's move here. And then blast them. Let's move... Can we move forward and then... Huh. Our priority charge target is apparently this unit. Which I'm fine to charge, to be honest. I'm just worried that I won't be able to turn. Yes, he, damn it, I can't turn. Wish I had known that. Well, I'll just take our small shot. That was not bad. I can, I can uh, handle that. If this unit doesn't turn to face this direction, we will have them. That one's pursuing. Yeah, I think we we actually did moved everyone. <laughs> oh gosh, this poor unit. They're coming after him still. Run! Oh god. Oh, that was quite good. And that's it. Alright, so will we have the... I don't think so. I think we'll get them to 60% first, but it's not going to be as clear-cut. It could have been like a really, really good win for us, and now it's just going to be an okay win. I might be counting my chickens before they hatch, though. I did think I was going to win that one battle we lost. In fact, I thought securely we were going to win that. See, another unit rallied. Aye, aye, aye. I'm sure statistically it's all fine, but... Or maybe I have a bit of RNG, but I know it's confirmation by Sue as well. I think that we're going to have a little bit of a worse time. So I, I pay special attention to the times when they rally and we don't. But, oh my god, come on! This is ridiculous. Yeah, I sincerely dislike that they are rallying and my units are not. We had one unit rally, I know, one of our pike. And I think we had one of our um, cavalry as well. Is that gonna, unit going to charge them in the rear? That is wonderful. Okay, so they should break in the ensuing melee. Oh wait, that is the ensuing melee. He's holding now. Good. Okay, they broke. Does that mean that anybody's going to lose? Damn it. Okay, we can charge this guy at least. I think. Maybe not because we're surrounded. Oh, we have to. It has to go. Wait. They need like 2% to break for us to. No, they had too many units rally. I, I very much doubt that they're going to be. Yeah, I, I, I doubt that they're going to be 25 behind us. No, yeah. We should be able to get them to 60, but ah, we we're so close to doing it. I, I don't like getting them to 60. It's more fun to win, you know, by the 25%. Because it means you're winning by a greater margin. That you know will break. Hey, that unit is breaking. Putting in the time and effort, though, I'll tell you. <laughs> Getting all of them to break, they rally, we have to break them again. <laughs> oh, good. That's my unit, just in time, is rallied. Quite good. Okay, Swedish turn. So that's going to break. This guy now becomes just a gun on top of the hill. Fire at this traditional cavalry who can't return fire. Doing zero damage, which is not what I wanted to see. Alright, so we will win this for sure. And I don't think we have any choice but to do that. Are they engaged? They are. Okay. Um... Oh, this guy's retreating, so that doesn't... 
That's not going to help us. I could just fire at this guy with being stationary and do whatever damage I can. Three to nine. Well, that's our best bet. Three to nine. Here they come. Ah, oh, this guy can't fire. That's good. Okay, so the veterans that we definitely want to get them out of. Let's see, 27, 4, 16, 9. 16, 9, 22, 6. Okay, this is better. I definitely want to get them into melee so we can stop. And I would much prefer to attack this guy than this guy because uh, much easier to be flanked if we're doing an attack to the side versus diagonal. So we'll do our charge here. Good. It's a good start. Now, knowing that. It only makes sense then to just shoot this guy because we are at an advantage. Ranged. How are we going to do here? We are going to lose in the long term. Okay. Unless we charge here. We will massively win and that might cause a whole chain reaction. Okay, so 46 to 0. I probably will want to take that. 64 and 0 here though. Let's do this. All right, let me let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Who is it? What's it best to do? I think it's best to charge with him first cuz if this guy goes to fragmented, I'll charge with him. He'll break and hopefully that means one of these guys will hopefully this unit will attack directly into this flank which will win us that one. So let's attack with the bottom unit first. The idea being we plow through. Okay, fragmented, going according to plan. And this, hopefully, since he is the most recent to attack, he follows first into the flank. It won't be a flank attack if we move here. Because he started from a non-flanking position. Let's see if it works. Now it's all up to which one gets pulls it first in the melee. But we tried. Tried to do our best. I didn't have to do this, to be honest. I could have just held my ground with this unit, and that wouldn't have been a bad idea. I think now, in order to make sure that we can keep this pike and shot from turning and flanking us, we kind of come after him. Um, hmm. Or we can try to go kill these musketeers. No, they're already engaged, so we don't need to worry about them. Yes, yeah, so let's go over here. I know that we're going to take arrow fire, and that's annoying, but honestly, I don't care. We just have to position ourselves so we don't get flanked. I probably don't have to worry about being flanked by this unit. Well, I guess we do, but eventually this musketeer will break and better and horse will be free. By the way, this is still pursuing. Okay, so have we done everything we can? Well, not really. I guess we'll fire at... The only unit we can fire at is this one. So we will. And do zero. Oh, wow, it still disrupted him. Well, that worked out really well. And we're going to turn and face that direction since that's where the majority of the action is now. Ah, we did get one of our troops back. Oh, it looks like we got both of them back. Well, that's quite good news. I guess we'll have this guy move all the way over here. And you will just move one this way. Okay, very good. Uh, this unit is still only fragmented, they rallied. I did not see that. But this unit is going to stop pursuing them at the edge and they'll come back for them. Actually, no point in trying to dislodge this guy. Let's just go after them directly. And uh, this is not a good situation. We know that this unit will eventually rout, but we don't have any choice. There's just no choice in the matter. I think that a cohesion test happens if you're within charge range of cavalry, which we are. So let's hope that we just get on the high scale and disrupt them. 5 to 18 and we did 5. Well, okay. Well, it's just a war of attrition over here. And we'll they'll, they will hit 60%. So next turn. Okay, they didn't really do much in that. Hoping to see them route here. Oh my gosh. Let's keep rallying. We did have our veterans rally though, so that was pretty useful. Otherwise, we wouldn't have been able to do this charge. That was all based on them rallying. And we are ahead, which is good. 
Oh my god, they wow, come on. It's ridiculous. Okay, so this will be the attack there. Darn it. Okay, well it's fine. That won't be a flank attack, but wait, are they just not gonna move? I'm not sure what's gonna happen there. Yeah, it, okay, it doesn't matter. We knew that this would happen. They're disadvantaged. I came out ahead for being disadvantaged. Okay. Interesting, they ran around us. We auto broke. That's fine, we're just waiting for them to get to 60 anyway. Not good, next turn we're <laughs> not in good shape. We'll have to turn face this direction, which means it's gonna reduce our firepower, but I wonder what this unit is doing. It's like bugged. Keep falling backwards. Yeah, that was their traditional cavalry which rallied. Sad. I think they're, they have rallied a lot more than me in this fight. I don't know if there's uh, some kind of what goes into the rally. Uh, maybe they're just getting really lucky with a die roll, but... Is that my horse? didn't see. Huh. Well, because our we have been doing poorly in these things, we're actually disadvantaged. Just the individual casualties are adding up, essentially. Okay, we did rally one. The game was like, oh, stop complaining, Tortuga. <laughs> it heard my cries. Good. Alright, so I think we just shoot this unit. No, actually moving forward is better. Because we will, so 0 to 3 versus 1 to 4. Yay, we did 1 instead of 0. Massive victory. Now we're in at risk of losing this? Not really. So we'll shoot them first, and then we will engage. 20, which is good. That should make this one even better. Yeah, because we're at risk of, let's do this so that hopefully they can't charge us. Okay. Um, I'm almost tempted to shoot this unit again. I know that we're going to get hit by these medium guns, and I want to go and take out those medium guns, but I have cavalry who will be able to do that next turn. So let's do this instead. Let's try to save the charge over here, but I think this is where we want to go. Yeah, good. Getting 11 damage, something. These guns are pretty obvious what we want to do here. Good. I was really, really hoping that exact thing would happen. Now, I'm willing to play the long game here. Just fire at long range. <sighs> gonna do the movement here this attack they broke instantly that's good I bring that guy back over Oh man, this poor devil. So we have to turn, unfortunately. I'm gonna hope that we can turn after we shoot. <laughs> if he even exists anymore, he can, good. And another cavalry rally down here. Assuming they don't rally, I think we'll beat them at the end of this turn. Like this. Hmm. And these, this unit being fragmented, I don't really want to get them involved. So I'm just going to have them turn and sit. Stay. Sit and stay. Okay. Um, good. Ouch. That did hurt. 15. 
But melee, this is where we're... I'm really interested in these dispersing now because they keep rallying, so I'm kind of happy when they start dispersing. Okay, we finally were defeated here. We came in advantage there. But a few... You know, it doesn't take much because they have two people attacking us. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh my god, come on, game. They're doing their best to... to prolong the agony here. It's really only agony for me. Man, we got... They were disadvantaged, but they won. Man, this is just not going our way. Hmm. But eventually enough of their units will be dispersed that they won't be able to come back. Okay, they fell back. Unfortunately, that didn't route them. But they are 25% if they're not careful here. What will happen? Well, the, uh, these guys have got to break. <sighs> Darn it. Sorry about that. So close. I think they had like two units rally on this one. That's good. They're so close. 57. Just, I want to finish this <laughs> battle in this episode. Please don't draw it out too much longer. It uh, doesn't look like they rallied and um, didn't break. We broke, so we're back down to 21 from 25. Sad. Good, we're back to disrupted there. And to me, that guy rallying makes sense because he's just sitting there. I'm intending for him to rally. Wow, we went down a fragment. Good God. Okay, held there. Held there. Okay, let's just get them beyond 60%, call this to a close. Definitely gonna win this, let's do that charge. I think we can attack from the side here. Can, which will cause an instant drop. Good, so that puts this guy back in the runnings. Can't charge, he's not a priority unit. Fine, let's do it this way then. 381, 366. This one's taking a lot more casualties, so I think we'll actually go after him. Plus, he can do more uh, damage to our um, Pika shot here. And I think doing more damage to him first lessen the casualties we'd face here. Okay, this guy's back in it. He's back in it. Can he turn? No, it's fine. Um, pretty sure this unit's gonna break with just some fire. There it is. Good. Which means this unit can turn and hit this one. Okay, what is our arc of fire here? It, it has to be this way, right? Oh, this guy's in close combat. Whoops. Well, should we just shoot the darn Russian cavalry so they don't rally like all the rest? <laughs> yes, I'd say yes. Um, okay, so we can charge this one. We actually want to get over to the guns here. I think what we want to do, it's kind of weird. I want to charge this unit off the field um, so that way I'm not hit by the heavy guns here. Oh, I can charge this one. And they will break. Good. So that just, I wanted to get out of the way. Oh, well, the reserves are now the ones who are going to take it, but it was unavoided. Unavoidable. <laughs> okay, so that's fine, that's fine. You fired this turn, so you can't do anything. And I might as well just move you forward. They're probably over. Okay, so let's just eek forward. We're displaced, uh, disrupted still, so let's... Oh, let's go after these guys. Yeah, I forgot about them. They can't charge being fragmented, but with the, <laughs> with the luck we're having, they'll probably rally. 
And that's all of my units. Okay. So that probably is 60%. Just really, that's, that's everyone, right? Okay, good. Okay, that's the last time they should do, be able to do anything, though. 15. Just hold together, hold together. Damn it, they did rally. <laughs> and now we're disrupted, so we will start to lose that, but hopefully it's too late. They're at 63, so this should be the end. We actually broke. It's kind of upsetting. And they're greatly disadvantaged, but they... Yeah, indecisive result. Okay. Of course, they're rallying. We would expect no less. Can they rally out of 60%? I hope not. We will just charge these guys. If we can. Hopefully get some flanking action. But no, no, no. This should be it, right? 60%. Huh, they disrupted our veterans. Just need to make sure they don't rally. It don't, doesn't, doesn't even matter if they disrupt our units, we just, they just can't rally. <laughs> okay, this is, should be, we should be, ah, we should be winning that by a lot. It's a flank attack. Our units will disperse. <laughs> well, good. All right, so that is it. That is the fight. And I can't say it went quite as well as I was hoping. Um, despite the fact that I thought we were going to win this one pretty handily, it ended up being a very bloody affair. But still, they lost just the lion's share. Let's see, let's basically 4,000, four, like 8,000 soldiers they lost. And I've lost maybe less than 3,000. So, over 2 to 1, almost 3 to 1 casualties. And that's it. Now, I am actually going to call this uh, gameplay to a conclusion. I don't think that there's anything more we need to do. Essentially, what I can do is combine these armies, and now we can just chase this army around. Uh, they're done for. As long as we can make this happen... What's our chance to fall? I think this is it. End the turn. There it is. Perfect. So this is the perfect note to end it on because we've won. <laughs> we had two defeats. I don't remember one of the defeats. But anyway, um, we are victorious. However, we have little doubt that they will attack again when the treaty expires or even sooner when we must be ready. <laughs> That's funny. So this was a blast of a series for me. Something very different. Um, I, I just... I don't know why I get so frustrated with RNG. Um, it's confirmation bias. I've already mentioned that several times. You know, you just get bad results that you notice much more than your good results. Uh, and there's a lot of rules with this game which I didn't know about, and constantly I was learning. So I'm, I'm really, really appreciative of the comments people left. Um, I feel like we're all kind of learning this game together. <laughs> so blast! You know, there's not a whole lot of games from this time period. There's a few age odd games I can think of, but they don't. There's no tactical element there. So it's kind of fun to look at this um, somewhat overlooked period in or era of, of war, of combat. So, so I think we will be playing Pike and Shock campaigns in the future, but not um, in the near future. And I'm actually hoping that I can get into Sengoku Jedi. Sengoku Jedi, however you say that. Um, basically the Korean versus Japan version of this game. I, that one has some a lot of interesting things about it too, which I'd be, um, I think it'd be a lot of fun. So I don't know what Prestige 727 means, if that's low or if that's high, but but I had a lot of fun during this series, and it's kind of the perfect timing to bring it to a, a close since I just started up Rule the Waves again, and I have a few other series planned. Now, as I always say, if you've watched this whole series through, and you know, it's, the comments were definitely a select group of individuals continuously over and over. You guys all have like 
special voting power, I guess we'll call it. <laughs> if you have any recommendations for games to play or things you're looking for or are interested in, um, please let me know in the comments below. Um, if you've made it through this whole series, I always feel like I take those comments much more seriously. But that said, thanks so much for watching all the way through the entire series. And uh, until whatever series we start next, take care.